So after waiting, how long? A month? Like four months. When did I order it? Spring break. It ain't four months. Yeah, Wait, okay, time. waiting almost two months uh, to get our replacement impeller. We finally just got one from in town and uh, got it from uh, Bob Hale at l and Marine. So we're gonna replace it. You just tried to crank it. Yeah. All right, we gotta take that out. Loosen it so the fluid will come off. Pull that rubber plug out right there so we can get to this uh, bolt. It basically just pinches the sh uh, that shaft in there and holds it in place. Now we gotta take these three bolts off of here. And I think, uh, unless, I'm, unless I'm mistaken, I think that's gotta come out too. This is our, this is our Yamaha three horse outboard. When we get it running, it runs really, really good. But the other day it, it uh, got hot on us and quit. Well, yeah, a couple months ago, it got hot and quit. Um, anyway, we got back to the bank and uh, put it on the trailer and took it to the campsite where we were and took the foot off and the impeller's gone. Just, I think there was, there was uh, one, one, one tooth left on that thing. Break it loose, grab the other one. Once you get it loose, go to the next one. Bump it with your palm if you have to. There you are. We put them on there, we put them on there good, don't we? Don't drop it. All right, set it up here on the boat. Now we gotta take, there's four bolts right here. Two on each side that hold that little uh, retainer clip on. And then this plastic uh, boot will come off and the impeller sits right inside there. All right, pull the boot up. So under here, under this little clip here, was all the bunch of the rest of the teeth. They were shot. Hold on, Colton. Can't get them now. We pulled this out. We already had the we already had the impeller out, so we could determine what it was. We pulled this clip up, and this little pin was laid down in there. And these are placement pins, basically. They, those two set and hold that. This goes here. And of course, water will come in through here. Now, the impeller goes on top. May have to grease it. Got some WD-40. Just get some of the grime off of it. Some of it's kind of hardened. Go and go get one of the shop rags. Don't worry about that. That looks like paint. All right, let's, uh, Where'd the little piece go? Make sure the. All right, put the pin right there. You gotta be kidding me. Is it the wrong size? Yep. It's too big. Wait. 
Now, now we can we can probably yeah I don't know about I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Maybe it is. No. Is that how you want to do it? Probably how it's supposed to be. To be honest with you, I don't know. That one needs to go that way. All right, so we don't know, but here's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> now, let's, see. let's see if we turn it this way. All right, I believe that's the way it should be. All right, we've uh, positioned it in here. I originally thought it, it would, I guess that's right. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Got a little bend in them. Your little dotting in there. Yeah, little pin. I don't see the hole. There, all right, hold the blades. I mean, the, the, the blades, the propeller. Same thing. All right, I gotta, hang on. Gotta kinda halfway line this thing up. Okay. There it went. Put our retainer clips back on. Down on it. So it's set down nicely. I believe that's the way it's supposed to be. I originally thought it was too big for the, <clears throat> the little uh, cylinder that it fits in, but I believe it's supposed to have a tight fit like that. Angle it in. That certainly would push water better, wouldn't it? Don't over tighten it, get it decently snug can bust that plastic that's good that's good now the tricky part <clears throat> you gonna get this tanner yeah i'm coming the tricky part is lining all this up i want you to get some video tanner up inside the uh the foot here oh, this is the foot up inside the i don't know if you get down where you can see make sure can you see the screen this part right here has to line up with this thing right here. The shaft here goes all the way up to the front. This little needle part right here has to line up with this. So you're basically trying to line three things up at once. Can you see this right here, what I'm trying to do? Get that pin right there. No, and I just want you to show it. So, get over in there. Yeah, so I'm missing it. See there? It's got to go up inside this thing here. Oh, close. Corporal, can you get, uh, can you get something to hold this up with? pair of needle nose or something all right so we got it you just kind of had to get your finger up in there and hold it in the right place all right so I'm tightening this one down first it basically is the transmission basically what you do is well, this is neutral and that's go uh -oh. it's pushing up in here let go watch this right here which is right here. so that's drive there's neutral Pulls up on that valve Oops. down in there and engages the propellers. Needs to be decently tight there because you don't want to piss on it. All right, it'll hold in place now. Like this. Uh, well, it should have a look at look at the bottom. See that knob right there? Yeah, it goes right there. 
and then this needs to be tightened. Okay. Get this deep. This thing tight. It's supposed to be. All right, grab us a bucket of water. Here's one thing we realized when we got everything put back together it was locked in gear even with the switch down and you couldn't pull it up anymore so when you put this thing back together you got to make sure that you keep the uh you keep the foot engage pressed down i don't know if you can see that keep the foot engage pressed down so that you tighten it on otherwise it wants to stay in the up position so push it down tighten it down then you've got uh the correct movement. Show it right here. Get in there, son. And the tip of it is really just right there. Right there. Okay. That's it. 